Epilepsy and Parkinson's disease both affect neurons in the brain, but they are otherwise unrelated, except in Victoria, where there's an important link between the two. That link is headway, which supports people of all ages with either condition. Tessa Hawkins and her support dog, Cash, arrive at Headway, the Victoria Epilepsy and Parkinson Center. The two support groups joined forces in 1983. Overhead can be really much more e efficient if we have two agencies that are trying to get along and serve Vancouver Island. One in every 200 Canadians has epilepsy, and in close to 60% of all cases, the cause is unknown. I have gone one full year without a seizure at some point in my life, but they've also come and had 12 in one day. Diagnosed at age five, it was only a year and a half ago that Hawkins joined Headway's Young Adult Support Group. It was absolutely phenomenal. Um, it actually allowed me to talk to people that really understood what I was going through because you can't explain what a seizure is like to somebody who doesn't have them. We have support groups, uh, young and old and in between. We have parent workshops for parents that learn that their child is, has seizures. It was a tremendous help. I don't know how we'd have managed without. Robin Dunn is one of the 1% of Canada's population over age 65 with Parkinson's disease. Dunn began experiencing tremors in his little finger, which gradually spread. And then in the end you find, I've got to sit on my hand. This is crazy. And then it starts to, it progresses quite rapidly. Approximately 1,200 people in Greater Victoria have Parkinson's. Diagnosed six years ago, Dunn now volunteers with Headway. You know, the centre helped me tremendously. So you return the favour. That's how life works. But all of this support and education takes money. The nonprofit is gearing up for its annual fundraising golf tournament. So if you're a business or, or anybody and you want to sponsor us or golf that day, that would be great. All of those sorts of things just enable us to keep on going. Find out more at the links tab at checknews.ca.